A NASCAR Tucson. It was the roasted Rattler Saturday night out at the Speedway. Let's start with the outlaw late models. This division has been dominated this season by the old vet Herschel McGriff in the number 18. Although he did get some push from Jennifer Hall in that 57 car. McGriff has basically won everything this season. All the qualifiers, all the heat races. He's six for six in the mains. And next Saturday night, he's headed up to South Sound Speedway in Olympia, Washington to race a 200 lap super late models event. I asked him, when was the last time you ran 200 laps? Probably late 90s. That's all right, it goes quick. It's on a 3 8 and, and I'll have a lot of help because it'll be 8, 10, 12 tires wide because uh, you know, you're leaning on each other there. Yeah, what's that like when I guess you get into a tight track like that and you've got cars and you guys are all kind of right there together? You just got to keep your momentum going. If you slow down, they're going to run over you. In the top division, the Super Late Models, this was an absolute 40 lap battle between track veteran Joe Paladenic, number 63, and a young upstart from Colorado named Brett Yaki. Paladenic looked like he might have him on the inside down the back stretch, but the 21 year old in the number 32 car gets his nose out in front on the final turn. Brett Yaki has won five of six races this season in the Super Late Models division. Man, we were that close. <laughs> Uh, I went in really hard into the corner and slid up the track just a little bit and he did the same thing and we drag raced off the corner and I guess I got a little better of a jump and drove to the line. Yeah, he came down and well, just racing and what he's nothing intentional he's doing. It's called taking away the line so he kind of pulled down a little so where we couldn't arc the car higher than we wanted. We bumped him at that point. I thought we wanted but it was that close. <laughs> 